Welcome back. So I'm doing a review today on something that I bought a while back. Uh, it was a fun product. Always wanted to try it. I had something similar to this when I was little. Um, and I believe that that's where um, this all derived from. So I'm going to do a review on the lips, one of Lipstick, uh, Lipstick Queen, their frog prints. Uh, lipstick. It is green. The lipstick is green. Obviously, I've used it. It doesn't come out green. It works with the pH of your skin and it changes into a pink color. Now, let me show you. See? It's not coming out green. They do have a blue one. This is not, this is a balm. This is not a lipstick, uh, so please keep that in mind. It is a very shiny consistency. As you can see, it is a lip balm. It's very sheer. Um, it's very moisturizing. Um, I definitely love it. However, the only thing that you need to keep in mind is that this lip balm really stains your lips. So my lips will be extremely extremely pink when I wipe this off. Um, I bought this uh, full price at Ulta is where I was able to find this. Uh, I wanted to try something fun. It's something fun to have in your purse, throw it on uh, during the day if your lips are feeling kind of dry or you kind of don't really have want to have so much lipstick on. Um, so do keep that in mind. I mean, I really did love it. Um, they have a blue one that's like sailor something um and that turns more of like a mauve like a darker mauve color however the really cool thing about this is that when you um like drink from a cup the lipstick stain that you leave on the cup is gonna be green it's not gonna be the pink that you're seeing on your lips it's like magic anyway I used to have a lipstick like this when I was little that I like bought at like the dollar store that was green and when you put it on it would turn pink. So this has been around for quite some time. I just feel like Lipstick Queen refined it for adults. Um, I do uh, think it's great. However, I do think it's a little bit overpriced for it being a lip balm. Um, but I guess you're paying for the magic um, in it. So. Do keep that in mind if you've been thinking about picking this product up. I mean, they've talked about this on Y100, um, um, all over the radio. People have been posting about this on Instagram. Uh, it's just so fun. So I believe it was $28. I paid $28 for this lipstick. So um, it's, I love it. I use it all the time because I have dry lips. So it's very smooth. And as you see, it's gotten pinker. So you give it some time and it works with the pH of your skin. And it ends up turning your lips a lot more pink. I'll give it a 3 out of 4 stars. Why? Because, number one, it's not a lipstick. It is a lip balm. So I believe that already it's, like, I would say more casual, you know? Um... And second, I don't like the fact that it stains your lips a lot. Um, when I take this off, I'm not going to be able to wear uh, maybe a lighter uh, lipstick because you're going to you're gonna be able to see that strong stain um, on the lips. So that's the only thing I have to say about it. And I do believe it's a little bit overpriced for being a lip balm. I mean, it's not a lipstick. You know, it is moisturizing. But at the end of the day, when I go out at night or I'm going to go out somewhere important, I'm not going to throw on a lip balm. Um, so anyway, I thought it was helpful. You can pick this up at Ulta. Um, and I believe that Sephora might carry it, but I believe they only carry it online. I don't think that they have it in the store. I haven't seen it yet, um, but I know for sure that Ulta does carry it in the store. So I hope this video was helpful and thank you for watching.